Since war began, we have heard so many Air Ministry communiques reporting action over enemy territory. We take them as a matter of course. It is well to pause here and reflect upon the cold courage with which each man must await his zero hour. Now zero hour has struck. The Blenheims are taking off. southeast towards that part of our coast that we called Hellfire Corner in the Battle of Britain. Fighter command in those days of 1940 cleared home skies of Junker and Messerschmitt. They drove the Luftwaffe back and gave bomber command the chance to attack. They're heading for the rendezvous and right on a split second of time they meet their escort of fighters over Canterbury. the coastline, leaving our island fortress for shores now hostile across the English Channel. Fighters gain height and step up into position like a company of crack infantry on parade. And as they near their objective, the bombers split up as instructed at the briefing. We have a set course along the northern lake and then south. over northern France. The fighters peel off to sweep a path clear of possible interceptors. Except for Flack, the Blenheims will run in unchallenged. And now the Blenheims with a load of bombs are about to dive on the target. <laughs> Bomb aim are all set. Factories in France doing Hitler's work are about to go out of action. And there go some of the bombs. Gunners on the ground are wide awake and shooting accurately. We switch to a camera fixed in one of the Spitfires. The pilot banks and dives and climbs at hundreds of miles an hour. Messerschmitts are there to interfere, so the fighters dive to attack targets on the ground. The Blenheims have done their job, and while they're returning safely to their bases, Another fighter sweep has come out ground strafing and shooting up coastal shipping. More of Hitler's war machine is scheduled for a basting.
right on the minute once again, bombers and fighters have now reformed to return to their home bases. Prim as a schoolgirl crocodile after unloosing hell. Back over the coastline of Britain, the ramparts that have guarded the House of Freedom for a thousand years. On the loudspeaker at the aerodrome control, the voice of the returned raider speaks to the duty officer. W for William calling. W for William calling. Have I permission to land, please? Have I permission to land? Over. I've uh, given permission to land. Hello, W for William. Hello, W for William. Control answering. Control answering. You have permission to land. All our aircraft return safely from this operation. But the job isn't over yet. The all-important report to the intelligence officer must be made immediately on landing. Now, did you see any any aircraft at all? Oh, I saw three 109s come into attack, but the escort got to them first. And there was a lovely dogfight going on. And the last time, um, last thing I saw of them was one dive into the sea. It's just another day's work in the RAF. They wouldn't expect you to call them a race of heroes. But until somebody thinks of a better name, It'll do.